Every detective has one big case that makes their name, and the only way I was going to get mine was if I moved to America. This is how it all happened. This is my story of how I busted the biggest crime lord in New York City, and one of the most influential in the States. This is about how I stopped Frankie, the puppet master. It all started with one girl, Ann Miller, out of work Broadway star. Frankie's after me. Frankie who? This is New York City. Frankie the puppet master. Why is he after you? A short time ago I needed some money quick. A friend of a friend hooked, hooked me up with him. He sold some man a lot of opium. And I mean a lot. When I got there and saw how much money there was, well, I couldn't resist. I took it and ran. Frankie's already wanted for many murders, but he's got an airtight alibi. I've always wanted to be the one who could bring him down. I now I'll have that chance. I think Frankie's got his men after me. What makes you think that? There were these two guys in the alleyway. Where are you? I'm on the corner of 12th and 2nd. Please hurry. Stay there, I'm on my way. I think she likes it, Harry. I think I like it too, Daddy. Come on, let's go. Frankie will be expecting us. They say that the classic thug is always sent back to the crime scene to make sure that no mess has been left behind. It never fails. Ah, Slippery Dan, the underworld's most beautiful thug. Where's Ann? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me, I know who you are. I'm a no one! Really? You're Danny Cruz, Frankie the Pub Master's right hand man. You do all these business dealings. I'm nobody, seriously. You're under arrest, you're coming downtown. Ah, uh, yes. Ann Miller, out of work Broadway star. If I remember correctly, you owe me some money. No, Frankie. Frankie, don't do this. I'll get you the money, Frankie. I promise. You owe me some money. A lot of money. Frankie, please. Please don't do this, Frankie. I'll get you the money. Give me one reason why I shouldn't shoot you now. Frankie, please. I promise. I'll find you the money, Frankie. Frankie, please. Tell me, Dan, where is she? I don't know what you're on about. Where's the girl? Look, I ain't talking till I get some sort of deal. Fine. Full pardon of all your felonies. I want it in right. Excellent. That's all I like. Now talk. Alright, Frankie's got the girl. He's holding her down in the warehouse. It's down in the docks, right? Yeah, the docks. I suddenly realised that I had become so tied up in all these events that I had forgotten the detective's number one rule, never trust a criminal. I had no choice but to go back to my office and start again from scratch. I had no idea how I was going to save the girl. I had no idea where to go from here. The case was as cold as last night's leftovers. If this news got out, I'd be the laughing stock of the NYPD for months. And that's why I need to find the girl. I have to. Evening, Detective. Frankie the Puppet Master. I never actually thought that you were a puppet. I thought you were smart enough to realise that you should never meddle in my affairs. I guess we were both wrong then. Not only are we both wrong, we're both dumb as each other. You underestimate me. What? Why? You'd think that being the biggest crime lord in New York City, you'd have a little more protection than your henchman over there. Please, I'll pay you. How much do you want? It's not about money anymore.
Every detective has one big case that makes their name. The only way I was going to get mine was if I moved to America. That's how it all happened. That was my story of how I busted the biggest crime lord in New York City and one of the most influential in the States. That was about how I stopped Frankie, the puppet master. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Back to being a lady. <laughs> we make a 